Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is going to be my Thursday morning beach report for North Naples, Florida. It's about 8.40 a.m. Mostly sunny out here. We do have some clouds. But the sun is coming through now and then. I think the clouds are going to get a little heavier later today, this afternoon. That was the forecast anyway when I came out earlier today. It's temperatures like 72 degrees. Going to get up to 83 to 85. Water temperature 78. I'm just north of the La Playa on Vanderbilt Beach. And yes, we are still dealing with red tide out here. We are still dealing with red tide now. All morning, I have not coughed. I haven't smelled the red tide. What I did smell was the smell of the dead fish on the beach. And I didn't notice as many dead fish on the beach either. You can see where the tractor was with the rake. From there down this morning, especially at the north end of Vanderbilt Beach, I pretty much didn't see any dead fish up on the beach or in the water. But up higher, up at the high tide line, yes, there are some dead fish stinking up the place up in here all along the beach. There, are a, there were a few more dead fish on the beach down towards the south end, down towards the Ritz, up towards Bluebell. The beach seemed to be a little cleaner. But yes, the red tide is still offshore, still messing with us. The wind's kind of in our favor right now this morning, coming out of the east, northeast, keeping it offshore, the smell. That's gonna change later today. Hopefully the stink will come on shore. Calm out there too, calm. The tide's been coming in for about a, oh, half an hour. Really calm. You can see the water is not clear yet. Still cloudy, unfortunately. Don't ask me when the red tide's gonna go away. I don't know. Maybe never. One, uh, one doesn't know the answer to that one. I can tell you that a lot of this red tide is our own darn fault. People always comment. They love blaming others for the red tide. Pointing the finger at our politicians and other people. But you know the solution for this problem lies within us. We're the ones that got to do something. And it starts right in your own yard by cutting back on your fertilizers. That does not seem too hard to do, does it? Give up a little of that green lawn to save our oceans? Come on. Stop blaming others and take some action. Get involved. Red tide's been around for a long, long time, but obviously it's getting worse and worse. The more stuff we dump into our gulf here to feed it and into our waterways, the worse it's gonna get. We cause the problem, we can fix the problem. They're working away at the La Playa over there. And you can hear them banging in the background. The La Playa is open, by the way. How much of it, I don't know. I don't know what amenities are open. I don't know how many rooms are open, but I do know it is open. Saw a couple dead horseshoe crabs on the beach this morning. That's kind of sad. There's one right down here. Saw a big one further up the beach. A really big one. Whatever you hear or come out of my mouth here is my opinion. I'm 
not a scientist, a biologist, an expert. Just a beach bum. Sharing my opinions with you, sharing my beach with you. But I've seen a lot of things over the past seven years on this beach. A lot of beautiful things and a lot of sad things. You know, if you go back, get on my YouTube channel, get on Southwest Florida Television's YouTube channel and just go back into 2018 and you're going to see a horrific red tide. It was relentless, the red tide of 2018, and that came after Hurricane Irma. Don't get me wrong, this red tide we're having now sucks. It's bad. But go back and watch some of those videos. Some of them might turn your stomach. Well, I hope you appreciate what I do. Remember, I'm just out here trying to keep you informed as to what's going on. Do the best I can with what I have. Check back later on Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page for a link to a PBS special that aired several years ago, three, four years ago, about Red Tide. Interesting. And of course, if you appreciate my efforts, tips are always welcome. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. It's because of you that I'm able to come out here. Thanks for the support. You can also find me on Apple Pay and Venmo. Hit that share button. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.